Hello people, I'm Mr. Neo, call me on page, and welcome back to Neo Quickies, the show that I made to react to things, but not necessarily call it part of the Neo show, because Cactus Chris isn't here, and I'm still waiting for him to come over and shoot some more scenes for this Halloween thing that I'm doing, which is why I'm not doing anything Halloween related whatsoever, I think I'm gonna explode! Now that I'm done exploding, let's get on to with the show. This episode is a request, actually, that I've been sitting on for a while. It's like being kept warm under my butt cheeks, and now I think it's time for it to hatch. That joke went nowhere. At one point, I received requests from this person himself and one of his fans to react to his videos, and... I've been pondering it for a while because I was new at the time and I had no idea what I was doing. I wanted to make sure I was ready. Now I feel like I'm ready. So, laugh a dump of stuff. Let's react to one of your videos. This one is called YouTube Poop Mr. Big's Big Chocolate Mission. It is a YouTube poop based on the popular PBS show Word Girl. Now, those of you that personally know me would know this already, but in case you haven't, I grew up with satellite TV, and when I was a kid, I had a lot of fond memories with PBS. Like, uh, they had Word Girls, Cyber Chase, Arthur, Fetch with Ruff Ruffman, and more. And today, we are going to watch a YouTube poop based on a show that I watched as a kid. This will probably be the worst decision I've ever made, but it has nothing to do with laugh and dumbest stuff, because I'm sure he makes great videos. I've watched the Improbable Switch Rolls a couple times and couldn't stop laughing, so maybe this won't be so bad. Three, two, one, let's go. In a penthouse office, high above the city, a mysterious man is speaking. Mysteriously. Leslie? Yes, Mr. Big. There's not big Except I have no idea what's going on. One thing. <laughs> the mega chocolate! Ever since he I was a little boy, I've wanted mega chocolate. He wants to make a chocolate bar. So his mission is to make a chocolate bar. Okay. Unfortunately, no, the Mega isn't for sale, sir. There's only one of them, and you have to win it. It's the grand prize for the annual Fair City Scouts oh, sale. Yeah. You mean, really? They have to buy fruit juice? Buy? Afraid so, sir. <laughs> well, he has a million dollars. You should expect that money can't buy happiness. It's time for Mr. Big to pay the Fair City Scouts a visit. It's that time of year again, Fair City Scouts. Time for the annual Fair City Scouts fundraiser. They're gonna sell fruit juice. Very important to our troop. Since when is Mario a Girl Scout? Oh wait, no, these are these are two gender scouts. Oops. I forgot there was that guy. The troop that sells the most fruit in the country will win. Are you ready? Cause here it comes. Wait, the most in the country? They have to sell the most in the country? You mean like there's like... Uh, uh, does that mean like comparing troops all over the world? Or if, is it like you have to sell to everyone else too? I, tell, I can just tell he's going to rig the contest. This is the worst hip hop I've ever listened to in my life. Is he rapping about granola bars? If someone orders one Gigi, ask why not the If they order bombs, ask why not the crap load of squid. You're not going door to door, you're going gloss the sword, glass the asshole. I have no idea. Did he just said asshole? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Word Girl knows better than this. Bye, honey. Have a great day. You are drinking velvet, you Well, I don't know if I have one of those. Uh, what is Voltic Revive anyway? Is that a meme now? Has that ever been a meme? I forget. Ooh. 
toast. Where's the pingus flavor? Well, at least she got a million dollars, I think. With this year's highest tickets, winners of the mega chocolate. It's him, isn't it? <laughs> Woodview Elementary's two, eight, six, five. Holy crap, they won! Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Where's the big chocolate bar? I don't know how you were able to sell so many Vovic Revive. Really? Probably you had something to do with it. Isn't he always bitter daddy? I have no idea what I'm watching anymore. Yep, this is Meme Town. I am in Meme Town right now. Oh crap! Who ate the chocolate bar? Who ate the chocolate bar? Oh, that's a giant trampoline. Now I remember. I can see past the picture. Did he just fall off the building? Oh, good. Now he can stop doing evil crap. Whoa, he's fired. He's lazy. Sounds like a weird edit of Raven Fox audio. She does not know the karate. Whoa! That was a toaster! And you know what they say? All toasters toast toast. That's a meatball. What's going on? What the F? Down, teach him. Sorry, Fair City Scouts. I guess all your hard work was for nothing. Hey, Fair City Scouts, look what I found! The Super Jaggedy Bar! How can we never see them eat the chocolate bar, though? I, I'm surprised it didn't even add a sound effect. Hey, you two. Hey, you two. Toast. <laughs> I guess they got toasted. I don't know why I waited this long to react to a Laugh a Dumpa Stuff video. This was funny. Like, it's it doesn't make sense, but I don't know. It's like filled with the perfect amount of nonsensicalness that cheers me up inside after after waiting between video shoots for Chris to help me with a big project that I'm working on. Um, so, thanks for lifting my spirits. Thanks for making me feel better about life. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.